Welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the Mario uh, in SFML and C++ series and in this video we are going to start implementing the actual functionality of our Mario class. So before we do anything else the first thing that we want to do in this character class is to go ahead here and I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, create a couple of variables in here now uh, which are going to store the position and that kind of stuff. Now for creating variables you might be tempted to use a private um, like thing here but since we want the inheriting classes to actually be able to access those we are not going to use private instead we are going to use protected so protected would basically allow the class that inherit from this which is mario in this case to actually use these variables so first of all we are going to create a sf column column vector to f fault position now obviously this is pretty nice and we can create a vector mm, uh, to f for position pretty easily and we can also create one for like uh, size but a better and much easier way to do that which is going to save us a lot of trouble is to use a built-in sfml class called rect so i'm going to paste here uh, something here so this is basically uh, we are using the rect class but the rect class is a template class which means you need to provide it with the type of the rectangle whether it's using floats integer doubles whatever so you can use float rect or uh, to kind of do that automatically which is just a type definition type that you can see sf column called rect with float there's also interact and if you want to create one for like let's say some other thing for example uh, for longs you can do it like this uh, but obviously we want to use just float you can also use double if you want but I don't think we want that much precision anyway so just rect would be fine so this is going to be a protected variable which means that uh, by default the main program will not be able to change uh, any of the position or size attributes of our uh, Mario thing here but uh, uh, the Mario can actually change that so let's go under update here and now we want to implement here uh, what uh, we want to implement is essentially the movement system now in order to implement movement we are going to obviously use the keyboard stuff so uh, let's uh, go ahead and go under mario back and uh, in here you can see we have got this uh, public stuff here now obviously since these are just override methods we can uh, we have also got rect which we can actually use so first thing that i'm going to do is uh, we are going to go under the draw method and in here we are going to implement the draw method first then we will go ahead and implement the movement for the movement we are just going to use the keyboard stuff so first let's implement the draw method so that we can actually see the movement so in order to draw we have got a rect that we need to draw now in order to draw i am going to actually use something called a vertex array so for that i'm going to create an as a array of type sf column column vertex we are going to just call it shape and i you are going to do this so that it's an array and we are going to not specify any size and put a direct initializer here uh, and uh, then we are going to go down here and we are going to say window dot draw and we are going to say shape now in this shape we are going to create a vector 2f but obviously a vector 2f is not a vertex so we will use a vertex but for the constructor we will call a vector 2f in here and we can put the values here uh, and by the way in order to do this you need to specify it with first of all the uh, size o of the amount of stuff that you've got which means we, have we will, since this is just a scare for now we are going to have four uh, you know corners so we are going to say four here and then you need to specify the type of the shape so we are going to go in and say sf colon colon uh, primitive type colon colon uh, uh, quads so quads is basically like four things but you don't need to say primitive type you can just say sf colon colon quads and that should work as well and in here we are going to specify the vector 2f first of all we are going to have rack dot top and in here we are going to have uh, actually rack dot left and in here we are going to have rack dot top this obviously uh, specifies the actual position on of the top left corner of the rectangle and then we are going to go down here and uh, we are going to basically paste this line four times for four vertices and for this one we are going to add rack dot width to it so first point will be here the next point will be here and the next point is going to be down here so we will actually paste this here as well and i'm going to paste this here but instead we are going to change this to height instead of width so that it can actually have a height and we are going to put height here just height and not uh, width so this will contain both additions this will only add height this will only add width and this will add nothing and that's pretty awesome so now let's go under mario and i'm going to actually go ahead and add in a constructor here for mario so that we can actually do initialization and we are going to uh, go ahead in here and we are going to implement that constructor here and in here i'm going to basically go ahead and say rect colon is equal to sf colon colon rect and uh, actually you need to say float rect here 
so flow track and for this we are going to uh, specify the top left uh, the, the top left corner will have coordinates so 50 and 50 and the size will be 100 and 100 now if i start the game actually you should see that we have got a white scare uh, somewhere in here of the screen and you can see that works now uh, uh, now the next thing that you want to uh, do is obviously change the uh, color so how are you supposed to like change the color of this now as far as color is concerned actually the color is stored in each vertex so each vertex essentially has a separate color now uh, we can specify everything explicitly here but since we want our mario for now to just have the same color we will add textures later we are going to go ahead and say four uh, we are going to go ahead and say sf colon colon uh, vertex and make sure to add a and sign after that we are going to say v for shape and the reason you add the and sign is because we are going to change this vertex here so just go down here and we are going to go ahead and say uh, v dot set color dot color uh, is equal to sf colon colon color and we can just set it to whatever color we want our mario to have color colon colon uh, let's say red uh, this red is just a predetermined color so let's do that and what you should see is that we have got now a red circle uh, red circle not sorry a uh, red scare in the screen which is pretty awesome so in the next video you'll implement this update function to allow our mario to move and then we will actually add a mario here instead of just a scare so stay tuned for that and make sure to share this video and this series with other people and also make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video and bye